Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chris. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to correctly install the WICD network manager. For those of you who have already installed WICD, you may be experiencing a couple of issues. For example, you may be having a problem with the authentication where WICD tells you it's a bad password for your access point, or WICD may be unable to obtain an IP address for your access point. These are issues that are very easily fixed, and I'll be showing you those in the latter part of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is open up a terminal. And in terminal, we're going to type apt-tac-get space install space wicd and then press enter. And you'll be asked to confirm the installation. Go ahead and type y and press enter. Okay, and the installation is finished. So we're going to launch wicd. And to do that, we type wicd-tac-client and then press enter. And there's the WICD graphical user interface. So if you haven't already, go ahead and connect your wireless network adapter. And after you've connected your wireless network adapter, you're going to click the Preferences button. And here we need to enter the name of our wireless interface. And if you don't know the name of your wireless interface, go ahead and open up a terminal. And in terminal, you're going to type IF config and then press Enter. And that's going to display a list of your interfaces. ETH0 is my wired or bridged interface. And then low or LO is my loopback interface. And then WLAN0 is my wireless interface. Yours may be WLAN1 or WLAN2 or something along that format. So go ahead and close the terminal out and enter the name of your wireless interface. Again, mine is WLAN0. And once you've done that, click OK. And back in the main window, you're going to click the refresh button. And this is going to begin scanning for wireless access points. And once the scan is complete, you need to find the wireless access point that you want to connect to. And you're going to click the properties button. And if your access point doesn't use any encryption, then you do not need to complete this step. However, the majority of us use encryption. So what you'll want to do is tick the box that says use encryption. And then you need to select the correct encryption type that your access point uses. Mine is WPA. And in the field beside pre-shared key, you're going to enter your passphrase or your password. And once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. And you can go ahead and try to connect to your wireless network. But at this point, the connection is probably going to fail. I'll go ahead and give it a try. And to do that, you'll simply find your access point and click Connect. And you can see where it says validating authentication. This is taking much longer than it normally should. And it's probably going to return a statement that says bad password, even though I'm confident that I entered the correct password. And what we're going to do next is we're going to correct this issue. And you can see there it says connection failed, bad password. And this is a common error that a lot of people are experiencing and people are getting very frustrated. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to correct that error. So go ahead and close out the WICD network manager. And you can go ahead and close out the other terminal and then open up a new terminal. And in the terminal, we're going to type forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash network tac manager space stop and then press enter. And now we're going to type update tac rc dot d space network TAC manager space disable and then press enter. And finally, we're going to enter forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash wicd space restart and then press enter. And now we're ready to launch wicd again. So go ahead and type wicd TAC client and then press enter. And once the scan finishes, go ahead and find your wireless access point again and click connect. And this time the connection process should be successful. And you can see there we finished the validation process and we are now obtaining an IP address. And you can see there that the connection was successful and I've been assigned an IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a web browser just to test my connection. And I'm just going to type my name in and see what comes up in Google. 
and there I am, my YouTube channel. So you can see there that I have an internet connection. Everything is working as it should. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.